What is up everybody, Cliff Ravenscraft coming to you from the Next Level Studio. Just made some important upgrades to the studio and just wanted to go live here on Facebook. Maybe I'll publish this also on my YouTube vlog, I don't know. We'll see how things go. But anyway, just wanted to show you around some new things that I've got going on here. First of all, I made some upgrades recently to some LED lighting. So let me show you really quick what I had in the past. It's in the closet now. So inside the closet here, you see a bunch of those giant lights, uh, soft boxes, if you will. And I got a bunch of those. I don't know if I'll continue to use those in any way, but they're there just in case. I may actually just get rid of them, give them to somebody locally here. But I replaced them with these uh, LED lights, which don't heat the place up, which is nice. Uh, I bought, I got a three pack of those lighting kits over here. And then you can see there's a three pack over here. So there's Oh, one back there, and there's one up here, and then there's one back there. A couple other things that when I first built this space, by the way, this is called the Next Level Studio. Stephanie and I, when we built this home, we built this giant place right here. This was, the whole purpose of this was to have a training space. And some of you I see who are in the chat room, you've been here for a Next Level workshop, and it's a training space. So Basically, here's the front of the classroom, if you will, back here. And uh, yeah, we've had 14 people at a time uh, in a classroom setting here, which has been incredibly rewarding and, and has been uh, very in, impactful in people's lives, which I'm greatly excited about. That over here is my office area in the Next Little Studio. And one of the things that I just recently did, by the way, I took this 23-inch monitor off of my desk and I replaced the 23 inch monitor with eh, a 65 inch 4K television. But anyway, this is my new office setup and it's a multi-camera. Uh, this is a full blown sound studio. You can see all the uh, sound panels, all these black things on the wall. Those are acoustic sound absorption panels, uh, including one on the wall here, one on the wall right there and one over my desk. So it's an entire sound production studio in this space. Anyway, so this is what it looks like when I'm here. I've got a camera over there. It's uh, got a, what do you call, a, a teleprompter and everything. So I have that camera. I've got a camera right there which can easily swing around and do an over the head shot this way. Um, I got the whiteboard over there so I can actually do instructional videos, which some of you may have seen some of my instructional videos where the whiteboard's in the background. I don't know that I'll continue to use that shot um, because if I, do, if I wanna do an instructional whiteboard video, I think I'll probably bring the whiteboard, which is on wheels, by the way. I will probably move this out of the way over here and put it in front of this brand new wall that I installed. This wall, used to just be a plain, it was, it was this color, and it was just plain and had nothing. And it was intentional, we were going to uh, use this as a video backdrop eventually. So that's, that's the thing I wanna try out. Um, I did not grab my, uh, I had my, there it is. I'm looking for my smart bone, smartphone carrying kinks. So anyway, why would I continue to think about the soft boxes? And the reason why is I'm gonna install if you look at my ceiling here, let's see, there it is. You see an AC outlet, that's in the ceiling. And uh, let's see, where else is one? There's one over here. There is, there it is, AC outlet there. Over uh, on top of the uh, sound acoustic panel in my office back there, there's another AC panel. And that's because I'm gonna install lighting into the ceiling. So what I'll show you right here is this back studio setup. So when you come into my office right now, I'm just now getting ready to test this out. But um, that right there has cables. And it's got, you've got those three lights and you've got those cables and you've got those big stands over there. Not a big deal, right? Well, except for the fact that if I was to put uh, a bar right here on the ceiling and a bar back here on the ceiling, then I can use these special clamps that I have, and looks like my kids were playing with this one so it's taken apart. But these special clamps have those light hooks on them, so I can actually be hanging these lights from the ceiling. So those lights would be installed into the ceiling. 
not not te not necessarily permanently, but semi permanently. I, I could easily move them and stuff like that, but uh, I'll get rid of. It'll take away the need for these stands completely. It'll take the all these cables that are running here on the floor. Those will be completely eliminated, and they'll be kind of tied up and and managed nicely up in the ceiling area. So. And the thing is, is I may use those soft boxes. I don't know. I'm not quite sure yet. But one thing I do want to try is I want to grab this little smartphone. By the way, I wouldn't, I don't anticipate doing very much in the way of, um, in the way of streaming from my iPhone like I'm doing right now. This is just playing around testing. But what I did here is I've got this tr tripod. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it into the smartphone mount. And hello, Daryl Tot. Good to see you here. So this is my new studio backdrop. And I'm just going to play around with this here. And I'm going to try and see if I can make this look the way I'd want just with my smartphone. So there's that. Now what I need to do is I need to drop the... Uh, tripod down because it's currently all the way in its uh, up position. Oh, I'm twisting the right, wrong way. Lefty loosey, righty tighty, right? All right, hold on. Bear with me. Okay, so let's bring that right there. Um, I have not placed these lighting, uh, these lights strategically yet. Um, uh, that I think will be fine. I'm gonna bring these lights up much closer to right there. And this light right here. And so, all right, I can see right here that everything looks great. Oh wow, this is not a bad backdrop with a mobile phone even. So let's uh, do this. Oh, I love this. This is cool. With the backdrop, you could do a daily abundance segment. I could do all kinds of stuff here. Now, I do notice that I got a, the shiny forehead happening right here. Uh, and if I lean forward, I don't get it as much. So that, hold on one second. I'm going to just turn the brightness of the lights down and see if that doesn't eliminate some of that issue and voila! ah this is awesome so this yeah this was a worthy investment uh, this wall ah I love it loving the wall and this is not bad for just going live I, I mean it's smartphone there's no external audio uh, I don't anticipate that I'll use this a whole lot but uh, man I I'm really excited about this gear. I mean, I, I, it does, I, I was thinking that I might need a desk that would look good on camera, but I don't even think I need a good desk because this right here is, and then of course, you know, just imagine me here and Stephanie right here, you know, right there. And the, the two of us could easily be doing stuff. And I can see this, uh, hey Cliff is, uh, is the background laminate. We looked into laminate. It is not laminate. Uh, I found uh, this place on Facebook. Facebook uh, Facebook showed me ads for something that I was looking for, which was awesome. Uh, obviously, I don't know how they knew I was looking for... Well, I mean, I know how Facebook ads work, but uh, they targeted me well. It's a company called ReclaimArbor.com. Ed says, you can put a hair light and bounce back from the floor upwards. And Yeah, I, I can do all kinds of stuff. This... By the way, I just cleaned the studio after making all the mess of installing the wall. Yes, there's going to be all kinds of stuff that I can do to enhance the video. And I noticed that actually my face is washed out just a little bit. So hold on one second. I can even fix that by bringing this light pretty much right down there. And then I'll bring this other light in closer and bring it down right there. And that should enhance the lighting on my face, but it sh should still, yeah, I like that. I, oh, I'm so excited. My gosh, okay, so what does this mean? Oh, it means so many things. It means so many things. It, I'm ready, I'll be going live from right here so much. 
and, and this is just smartphone. This is nothing, I mean, seriously, this is nothing more than my iPhone right now. And I know the audio quality is decent. I, I mean, I know it is decent audio quality. I mean, I could easily hook up some other stuff. By the way, I do anticipate I am going to buy a second uh, RC Pro, mindsetanswerman.com slash RC Pro. It stands for Roadcaster Pro. I'm gonna buy a second one of those as a portable uh, audio rig that will be used in this set set up here, but it will also be used in other uh, recording setups uh, throughout the house. We've got other productions that Stephanie and I will be doing. But man, this is incredible. Oh, I am so excited. So yeah, oh my gosh. Uh, Mike is picking up well. Yeah, this I, that is something that I know would be the case. And the one thing is, is um, there's no acoustic panels on the back wall, and that was intentional because I didn't want any back there to mess up the actual look of that backdrop. Um, everywhere else has sound panels, but there are three sound panels that are missing on the other side, actually four sound panels on the other side of the studio that are temporarily taken down. Uh, let's see here, I have a Note 9. Uh, I am live stream my audio show on Facebook Live. Uh, Seal cameras are very good these days. Cell cameras are very good these days, yes. So um, anyway, th there's a little bit more echo in here that needs to be in here. It's not terrible, I can tell you that right now, but I do hear a little bit of reverb of my voice off of that front area, and that will com be completely knocked out. I'm gonna go into Stephanie's office and take my, my acoustic panels back and put them back on the wall. Uh, but man, I love this! Ah! This is great. I, I so want to do more lives here, interacting with you guys. Stephanie and I can be doing Zoom calls from here with nothing more than a laptop and a Logitech, but we could easily hook up all the other gear if we want to. It We have so many, but this lighting setup, I mean, this is beautiful for just, like literally, I, I, I went live and I set up the lights while you were watching. But yes, I can do backlighting on my, I can do a backdrop. But all, if ultimately, this ceiling is going. To, this ceiling up there is going to get um, some some. What do you call those? Uh, they they actually call trusses. I, I couldn't think of it earlier. But I'm not getting full trusses. I'm just going to get my own homemade truss system. Uh, I'm going to get some some bar. You know, some. I'm just going to go to Home Depot and get some bars that'll let me clamp on those things and and fasten them to the floor joists that are above the ceiling. And I'm gonna hang some lights. I might, I might actually get just a couple more of these panels, the LED panels. I don't think I want to move back to the, the, the soft boxes. Uh, number one, I don't like the color of the light that come out of them. And number two, I definitely do not. Um, I don't like the heat that come off of them. So the more I think about it, yes, I will give those light boxes away, but I will not ship them. So if anybody wants these light boxes that I have in the closet, uh, you'd have to come to Northern Kentucky to pick them up. And uh, that's that's the only thing, but I will give them away. I'm not gonna just toss them, but uh, they'll sit in my closet until I find, some, find a home for them. But uh, they would, yeah, add a green screen. I, I have a green screen in that closet. Don't plan on using green screens. I'm not a fan of green screens in for any circumstances. Uh, every single production I've ever seen with screen, green screens, except for Hollywood, I've, I've been distracted by the fact that I'm watching somebody project onto a green screen. So, and, and that includes a lot of my friends who have perfected it over the years. So yeah, no green screen productions here. Uh, at least that's my, that's my current stance on it. I, I should say never, never say never. Uh, let's see here, but oh my gosh, I love this. Any questions? Uh, for those of you who are watching right now, I'm gonna end this live stream in just a moment, but uh, yeah, uh, I'm excited about my desk area. I'm excited about how clean this space is now. This, 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 this is a, just real quickly, this space here is multifunctional. So this is a, this right here is, con I, I anticipated this corner from the day I built this room, I anticipated this back wall being the backdrop for video content that I would create and that Stephanie and I would create. It's ready to go. Um, 
I created this entire space that I showed you earlier uh, for multi-purpose. One is classroom training. So I have these tables and chairs that can be set up classroom style. We've had workshops that I've taught here, two-day workshops that are 14 people per workshop. Uh, what was the approximate cost of this wall? Um, I think I, I purchased 80 square feet from reclaimarbor.com and I think it was like, I think it was almost $800. So not too bad. And I installed it all myself yesterday. It didn't take me very long at all. But anyway, so we have classroom workshop style set up for one purpose of this room. So, and then the second purpose is, and I haven't done this yet, but we're gonna, I'm making a four foot by 12 foot, four foot by 12 foot conference table that can come in here. And it'll be, it'll be a, a it'll be a easy set up and tear down conference table, but it won't look, it won't look like it's a, it'll look like a very nice conference table once I get everything set up the way that I want it. But it will be in two four foot by six foot pieces. And um, I'll create a special, so basically it, it'll probably be heavy, but we'll take a four foot by six foot piece off and go store it in the other room, take the other one off and store it in the other room, and we'll have the bases and stuff like that. But that will be easy for me to set up when I do at what we call our one or two day next level business masterminds, which I've hosted those in the past. They're coming back. Let me know, email me. If you'd like to come and spend an entire day and a half here in the Next Level Studio around a conference table, masterminding with me and up to seven other people uh, talking about how to take your business efforts to the next level, uh, then go ahead and email me, cliff at cliffravenscraft.com and put business mastermind in the subject line. I'm getting ready to, to schedule that. Um, and I, the one thing is, is I'll have the conference table uh, all set up by, the one thing that's keeping me from the date is actually deciding what I want to do, what, how I want to do the conference table in here. And as soon as I decide what I want to do with the conference table in here, then the conference table will be here. There'll be, we already have three of these chairs, these nice, super comfy chairs. Um, there's already, we already have three of them. We'll purchase what I need, uh five more. And so just ordering five more of these chairs and deciding what to do for my four foot by 12 foot conference table in this space, then this place is ready for some heavy duty masterminding events. The, master, the one day business mastermind events that I've done in the past, I've done at hotel conference centers where they had a conference room with a conference table all set up. Uh, this one, we're gonna, we're gonna duplicate that here in the Next Level Studio. Oh, I am excited. Woo! Guys, be prepared for lots of content coming for me in the very near future. There'll be uh, many, many more Facebook live streams just like this, only with different topics, not just like, hey, check out the new studio I'm working on. Uh, that's the topic of this one is the new studio that I'm working on. But there'll be pre-recorded vlog content right from here. Uh, with my, and I'll record that with my Canon M50. And that will actually have me in focus and the background will kind of be blurred out just a little bit. Uh, to do, to create that effect perfectly, I'll probably move this table forward um, just a bit and then I will uh, separate myself from the background a little bit more than I'm separated now. The reason why I have the set up the way that I do now is I knew I was gonna use the front facing camera. There's no way for me, well, I guess probably I could zoom in on this camera. Didn't want to. Um, but oh, man, so there's gonna be more vlog content coming. There's already more audio content coming from that side. And uh, yeah, and so let me just show you real quick. I'm gonna bring you guys over here. I'm gonna pick up this tripod, hold on. So that back there is the setup that I've been using just while I was talking to you. Very simple setup. And then there's this setup over here. And so if I come over here, I still have this as an option for a backdrop. So bear with me just a moment. Do, 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 do. I can change this to where it just says next level. And let's see here. Um, do, do I not have another? How do I not have another thing there? So let's add another desktop there. There we go. And looks like I got a couple things. But anyway, I can easily 
set it up to where I've got this and then, uh, you know what, I, I've, I just placed this monitor back here uh, the other day and it's not even that I care about that monitor being used in it, but one of the things I noticed is that, um, let, let me just do this, Alexa, studio off and uh, give her a second to process that. That'll kill some of that. Alexa, desk off. And that will kill some of that. And now all of a sudden, I, I still see the reflection of that light right there, which I can easily move. And of course, I'm gonna, those lights are right now on a stand and facing this way. But I plan on getting to the place where those lamp, or these lights will be hanging from the ceiling as well. Um, yeah. Oh my gosh. So of course the, uh, my blocking is off on this. I could work on that, but I'm not going to mess with it. <laughs> That's crooked. Uh, I say I'm not going to mess with that, but look at what I'm doing. I'm messing with it, but I love this. I, oh my gosh. This is so awesome. So much content going to be coming your way as a result of just, uh, expanding the setup here. Yeah, that's it. I, I, I'm gonna end this thing because I really just wanted to, to just test out the, the framing of all this stuff. And um, if you watch this on YouTube, which by the way, I'm gonna, as soon as I end this Facebook live stream, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hit finish and I'm gonna tell it to save the 720p version that it records inside the Facebook app. Save that to my camera roll. I'm gonna transfer that over to my computer. And then check this out. If you just look right here, You'll see, and I'll, you'll get a preview of it. But if you watch the uh, if you watch the the YouTube version of this video, you'll be able to see this edited in. So like that. Oh wait, hold on, hold on, all the way back. I thought there we go. So there's this in the background. I'll, I'll actually turn this up. You can hear it. About a week ago, I purchased some wood paneling from a company called Reclaim Arbor. Facebook ads do work, I guess. Anyway, I'm transforming this back wall for a significant project that Stephanie and I are gonna be working on. And of course, now it's doing the time lapse of me and like, like that, that, putting the wall together. It's all finished. Anyway, so anyway, that'll be included. The, the high, high def version of that wall being built will be included in there and um, yeah, uh, I, I'm not sponsored by ReclaimArbor.com, but they did advertise on Facebook and I purchased the, the backdrop that you saw over here. I'm, I'm just gonna bring you over here again. This is, this is what it looks like. And I, I gotta tell you, I'm absolutely digging this backdrop. I, matter of fact, I can even come here and uh, bring you guys with me and just, you know, just like this and talk with you. Of course, the lighting is not right for this setup, but I can bring you over here rah, like that. And the lighting is set up temporarily for this right here. <sighs> yeah. I'm glad I spent the weekend doing the stuff that I did this weekend. That was awesome. This wall, totally worth it. Ah, oh, man. Yes. <sighs> You ever just get excited about something that you've been dreaming of for years? I mean, I've had this studio for years. I've had the benefit of working in this place for years. I have not let it keep me from hosting 14-person uh, workshops. I've not, it's not kept me from doing anything I wanna do, but I still had never done anything with this back wall until finally, four years after building this house and having the studio space, four years I finally have this set up. And by the end of this week, I will have the ceiling, uh, light, the m lights mounted on the ceiling. I'll probably have at least, I, I will probably have at least one more three pack of lights delivered, if not two more three pack of these LED lights delivered. Um, oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Guys, thank you so much for tuning in. Thanks for letting me geek out with you guys. Hey, if you haven't heard about it, Free the Dream Conference 2019 is coming up. It's in Franklin, Tennessee. It's our second year doing this. If there's ever been a gap between the things that you say you are going to do and the things you actually end up doing, I encourage you to come to Free the Dream and put an end to that forever. 
How about bridging the gap, closing the gap between what it is that you say that you want out of life and then actually doing the things necessary to get it? It's not that you don't know what you need to do. Some of you are still struggling with that, but most people are not. And if you are struggling with that, that's not a problem. You, the, the resources for you to learn, the steps, the techniques, the things that you need to do to be able to accomplish what you want, those are out there. That's easy to find. What's not easy is the 80% that leads to success, and that's mindset and belief systems. And what you're going to need is you're going to need a belief that, number one, you can do it, that you're worthy, that you're good enough, um, that, that failure is not the end of the world. Uh, mistakes are going to happen, and you don't need to worry about mistakes. Uh, you don't need to worry about whether or not you can do something. It's just whether or not you have enough why to get you there. And your beliefs, every single belief that you have has consequences, especially the ones that you aren't even aware that you have. And if you need an example of that, check out uh, the Cliff Ravenscraft show in iTunes or any of your podcast directories that you subscribe to podcast in. Go look for episode 598 of the Cliff Ravenscraft show and hear about a belief that, that was that a friend of mine, Matt Dobschutz, was unaware of. And then episode 599, I think I'm going to share another uh, hidden belief that I think it was Uncle Dick. Uh, Brian Floyd shared a belief system that was holding him back from going after his dream in life. And it had all to do, it, it, it all stems, it, the, the main root cause, not the only root cause, but one of the main root causes was a belief that he had been holding since a child, something that Uncle Dick said. And he had never thought to even explore that belief or where it came from until we had a one on one conversation through a Zoom call for the Free the Dream family. Uh, and I'm going to play that, I think, in episode 599 of the Cliff Ravenscraft Show. Guys, if you want to break free from whatever it is that's holding you back from living the life of your dreams, from going after the things that you know you want to do, but you just keep getting all these false starts, you move forward, it's like one step forward, three steps back, or maybe it's five steps forward and five and a half steps back. If, they, if that's been the description of you going after your goals, your dreams, living the life that you feel called to live, I want to help you break through. I want to help you break through in, break, in massive ways. And the, anybody who's watching this, you probably know who I am. And you know the things that I've been through over the last 12 years of my life, since I left my career in insurance and all the struggle that I've went through to get to the place where I am today. And not that my life is perfect, but man, I am a completely different person living a completely different life than today than I was 12 years ago. And to quite, be quite honest with you, I couldn't have even dreamed of where I am today 12 years ago. It took a lot of dreaming and then, and then saying, I need to dream bigger dreams. It took a lot of progress to be able to get to the place where I can dream the dreams that I have now. And I've got some pretty big dreams of the future, but it's not about me. Free the dream is about you getting your dreams. And for those of you who say, well, Cliff, I don't even have a dream because I've heard from you. I know. I've heard that so many times. Cliff, I don't even know if I have a dream anymore. And that's because you've been conditioned to stop dreaming. You've been taught, you have a belief that dreaming big dreams for you, it's wrong. You've been taught that, man, you should be content that you have a day job, you've got a nice house, you've got kids, you've got this career that pays the bills. I mean, do you know how many people in the world don't even have that? How could you ever want for more? And you have this belief that, that wanting anything more is bad, that it's evil, that, that you're just ungrateful, and that's not true. It's not true. There is more that you can do to contribute to this world. There's more that you could do if you just dream bigger dreams. And I promise you, you were created by a creator to do more than what you're currently experiencing in life. And, I, and I'm talking to me as well. We all have more. If, we're st if we woke up this morning <laughs> above dirt, I promise you there's more for us to do because otherwise we're just wasting the oxygen in the atmosphere. So guys, freethedreamconference.com, freethedreamconference.com. I look forward to seeing you in Franklin, Tennessee this September and together we'll work on taking all of our lives to the next level. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.